Hi, it's Kip K from Make Magazine, back with another Maker Fair weekend project. Uh, what happens when you combine a rumble robot and an Arduino? Well, let's find out. So I'm here with Dino Segovas. Dino, what's the deal on these rumble robots? Well, these things started out life as a toy that was used with... Let's see one. This remote control. All right. Here's one of the toys. Oh, the old classic toy, yeah. And you had to kind of point the thing at it and run around and follow it. People didn't like that much. So they kind of got thrown in the garage, you know, off to the side. Let's give it to Goodwill or, you know, they end up on eBay really cheap. You can find them for 5 to $10 a piece. Is that where you bought your stock? I found my first one at a Savers for 3 bucks, and the most recent purchase was three of them for $15 on eBay. Well, good deal. The alternative, if you want to get into robotics and buy just a basic platform, is about $100 for, you know, some of the other ones out there ready to go to make a robot out of. So it's a really cheap way to get into to playing around with robots. Well, this one I've got taken apart, and this is the microcontroller that is inside here. There's four leads in here, and I tap into those, and that's how I run the motors. On my website is a little how-to with all of the schematics of where to hook this stuff up. Now, this was the head that came on this one, and what I've done was this. I've gutted all of the stuff out of here that ran the arms. The arms all had some sort of a mechanism they did. That's all gone now. It leaves plenty of room to put things inside there, namely a Seedwino. This one is. It's an Arduino clone. It's a little bit cheaper, but it'll do the same thing an Arduino does. So this will all go together like this and hide inside there very nicely and I can do my USB stuff on the back and then the way it sees is with a, a ping uh, ultrasonic sensor. These come from parallel, uh, Parallax Electronics. They cost about $32 at Radio Shack and this one will go in like this. Oh look, it's got personality now. Isn't that cute? So this ultrasonic sensor will send out a sound wave and bounce back and it'll tell the robot, I'm coming up next to something, I need to turn around. And so the code is just simply drive like crazy until you see an object in front of you, stop, and then it runs the routine where it backs up, turns, and continues on its way. And the thing with the ultrasonic sensor is if it's at an angle, it won't always pick up the wall. So then what I do is I add an extra couple of bump switches so if it hits the wall, it knows how to back up and get away from it. And then once it's all done, the whole thing goes together, a nine volt battery, runs the Arduino. In the bottom are four AA batteries that drive the motors in here, and they will last about an hour or so of driving around before the batteries run down. And that's how you build Rumble Robots. Yeah.